Do you call safeties in Tembal? What a stupid question that is. Well, if you do, you might want to stick around. In this video, I'm covering a mistake a lot of beginners and even more advanced players make. For example here, what would you call? Safe? Okay guys, listen up. Calling safeties in Tembal is actually a really bad idea. <laughs> Are you serious? Alright, so in 8 ball and straight ball, you can call a safety and make a ball and force your opponent to continue. But in 10 ball, if you make a ball when you call a safe, your opponent can actually choose who continues. You or him. So pay attention to what the pros do. When they try a safety, they usually call a ball. And this is especially the case when they try a kick safe, since the outcome of the shot is more unpredictable. And by doing that, they stay in control if the ball happens to go. Your grace. Well, you may ask yourself, isn't that just a regular two-way shot? Well, not exactly. It's not always a good thing to make a ball. Maybe you know you're not gonna have a shot at the next object ball. But what if you missed the safety and at the same time accidentally made a ball? Which you could have called. Wouldn't you be better off if you had called a ball? Had I called a safe, my opponent would get to continue. And that's why the smart choice is to call the 9 ball just in case I make it and wind up with a shot on the 5, even though that wasn't my plan. God damn it, Gump! You're a goddamn genius! So I guess the general rule is that whenever you're forced to play a safe in 10 ball, you should look for 2 way shots. And if you don't have a 2 way shot, you should really consider still calling a ball. Call a ball, just in case.